Raw Vegan Ravana is caught eating meat and now her followers are turning against her. If you're watching What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. And you can follow me on YouTube and Instagram at Shira Lazar. Yovana Mendoza, aka Ravana, is a raw vegan advocate and influencer who inspires others to live a raw vegan lifestyle through videos like this. She also sold brand deals and meal plans on her booming online blog, where she created a thriving community of followers. And from the looks of it, Yovana was thriving on the lifestyle that she was preaching. But just last week, Yovana was caught eating fish in a fellow blogger's video. Okay, it might be easy to make a joke about this, like, oh my God, why is this such a big deal? But it is when you're telling people to eat a certain way and you're promoting that lifestyle and then you just do the opposite without being honest about it. And as you would expect, a firestorm ensued. The video titled, This Is What Is Happening, details Yovana's two-year health battle while on the vegan diet. Uh, I was basically anemic and my thyroid levels were low. So I was ex starting to experience these digestive issues. I got candida, so I didn't have my period for two years. My hormones were still not good. I wasn't ovulating. I am still not ovulating. So after experiencing multiple health issues and listening to the advice from doctors, she finally decided to include eggs and fish in her diet and her health improved. Interesting, you would think that she would wanna share that with people who were jumping on her original bandwagon. But she didn't, and that's the issue. And you would think someone who wants to maintain their integrity to themselves and their viewers would reveal all of this. She actually was not ready to advocate for her new diet. For me, it's still a process. I'm still figuring it out. I'm not gonna sit here in front of the camera and tell you like, oh, I've been eating eggs and fish for the past two months and everything is better. And despite all these explanations, her followers were not having any of it. Hot Chocolate Fitness said, this video screams, I got caught, so I have to make this. Melissa added, no, this isn't an I'm human, I've made a mistake thing. This is a complete misuse of your platform. It's extremely upsetting. Honesty is always the best policy. So disappointed. I mean, health and diet is such an intimate thing. And to have a platform where you're sharing what you're going through to help others when it's not actually real, that's just really horrible. Because the fact is, this vegan diet was hurting you and you didn't share that with others and it could have been hurting others. So why wouldn't you do something? And listen, people are smart too. Just because they're viewers doesn't mean they're gonna feed into everything you're saying. A lot of her fans realized that just because she was promoting all of this and the brand deals, it doesn't mean that she was 100% honest and a lot of YouTubers aren't either. Actually, diet and lifestyle channels have long been criticized by professionals in the medical field for promoting scientifically dubious beliefs as an alternative to seeking medical treatment. In 1998, a new term called orthorexia was coined as an eating disorder associated with an obsession with proper or healthful eating. So the degree to which one is obsessive around food needing to be healthy, where it comes from, how it's prepared, the ingredients, the degree to which that interferes with the quality of their life, that's the degree that someone is suffering from orthorexia. As someone who has been around eating disorders, people very close to me, I'm aware of my own eating habits. I try to be as healthy and balanced as possible. I have tried veganism in all honesty and transparency. I'm now a pescatarian. What I would just say is, you know, do your research, consult a doctor. Don't just listen to whoever because you think they're cool. Everyone's body is different. What works for one person might not work for you. Be kind to yourself. I know it's cliche, but our bodies are a temple. And if anything we said resonated with you today, please reach out for support. Know that there is help. You can contact the National Eating Disorders Helpline at 1-800-931-2237. So do you think Ivana should have been transparent sooner? Would it have made a difference? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending and follow us on Instagram at What's Trending.